Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and let's speak about maybe game of the last century and I will speak about the game Byron Fisher. A really famous game because Bobby Fisher was only 13 years old boy and he played this outstanding game and amazing move in this position knight to a4. And of course this game is famous, amazing and well known, but I still believe that you will enjoy this game. And uh, it was interesting that maybe till now Bobby Fischer was an unknown chess player. But after this game he was new world rising chess star. And I hope you will enjoy this video. So we are watching this game from the beginning. And you can see that everybody is playing the right opening moves. And white has a small advantage. Nothing special, nothing big, but small advantage. Maybe till now is the first time when white need to play the right move. If white is playing to move to b3, because you can see that his c4 queen is under attack and need to find the right square, this move is not the right move because uh, this piece will be under attack for another time and white will lose a time. That's not really healthy. So another option is to go to c5. And this move happened in this game, but I think that this move is too optimistic because this piece on c5 should be under attack one more time. And in this position we can find at least three options how this piece should be under attack. So maybe knight to d7, maybe knight to e4, or knight to a4. And maybe for this reason the right move was to d3. But okay, nothing wrong to go to c5, but the first mistake, big mistake, is happen here. Because white is playing with the same piece twice. I don't know why. White is playing with uh, f4 bishop to g5. And really it's not healthy to play twice with the same piece in the opening because this is every time a dangerous move. The right move maybe is to go to e2. And you can see that um, White c5 queen is under attack, so need to go to a3. And somewhere here, white should have a small advantage because has a two, two bishops. Nothing special, but it's good to have two bishops. Okay, this is another game, but we are watching this amazing game. And white went to g5. Now, a really amazing move knight to a4 and what's amazing is that this knight is really hard to take if white would take this knight maybe it's lost so what's happen if white would take this knight as i told you uh, this knight is a really big defense of this pawn e4 pawn is uh, not weak because white has on a c3 knight. Now, this knight is gone, so it's a good time to attack on a c5 piece with knight from e4, but we are not going to attack only c5, but we are attacking g5, and if we will take on f3, we should take on g5. It's really important for white to find the right move. Maybe white will take on e7 and looks like white is winning because has more material and is attacking another two black pieces. A really amazing move is rook to e8. And something is wrong in white's territory and not a black, but white is under attack. And maybe I will show amazing variation if white will take on d8, is check from this rook. And at the end of this variation, looks like white is lost because white has really a lot of weaknesses. Maybe we lose another pawn and 
believe me that this position is lost for white okay so now maybe white should go to c1 because you can see that this move is making sense um, still white has more material and it's a really big question what black has for his missing knight we'll take on f3 and of course simple looking move check on a5 and we are going to take this piece and we have more material or oh, we have the same amount of material but white has so big weaknesses i believe that white will lose this game so for this reason it's really difficult to, to take this knight okay um, everything looks okay one surprise is not too big surprise only one move black surprise white but this game is getting interesting of course in next coming moves and now is another surprise for white black took on e4 and he doesn't mind to lose on e7 uh, pawn so black will take and you can see that uh, black is under attack rook and his d8 queen looks like black is losing material so what's wrong in this time if black doesn't care about material and i will tell you that if black will take a rook on f8 maybe he's lost again so amazing game because as i told you bobby fisher was only 13 years old boy and really now if white will take on f8 he's lost because this piece is one more time under attack you know it's really hard to, to see how many times this piece was under attack but it's under attack one more time and now amazing move rook to e8 and it's really hard to stop black to play really strong threats if white is playing to e2 he's losing somewhere here and it's difficult to believe that white will survive this position of course if black will uh, white will take if queen is losing immediately by the move bishop to b4 and it's a big threat on e2 so no way to take on f8 a rook and looks okay to go to c4 and maybe it's a good idea to take to go for fast short castling because maybe it's the last chance to save life if we are white in this game but another time white is shocked because black doesn't care about knight you know what's wrong in this game if white see these amazing moves you know black doesn't care about material and is still attacking like Mikhail Tal uh, if white will take on c3 white has a big problems you know weaknesses less material i don't believe that white has any chances here so another time it's hard to take this knight okay M maybe now everything should be for white okay because is white is going to attack uh, black's queen and it makes sense that black has to do something with his queen there is no way that in this position black is able to lose his queen but check and now is going a really amazing move and for this reason i believe that this move or this game is game of the century it's really hard to believe that black was only 14 years old boy when he played this move he doesn't care about his um, b6 queen and you know this game is really amazing so um, what's happen if white will take on e6 it's lost because amazing checkmate check on b5 and now i see that maybe everything is so simple check check 
and it's end of the game. So that's really maybe one of the best chess game of the last century. So it's really important to take this piece and ask black what black will play. Check on c4, check on e2, okay, check on d4, check on e2, check on c3, and now no draw, no draw. Black is playing for win, and black will take this piece, and another time this piece is under attack. So maybe this game should be named as how to attack a wise piece. But you can see that every time when wise piece is under attack, white is losing time. So, okay, white went to b4. And another time under attack. So this is a really important uh, lesson how to play chess. If we have a chance to attack opponent's pieces, just do it. And maybe then we are able to play so amazing game. Maybe now what is still in hope that it's not lost. But it's really difficult to play for him his position because Wild is not playing with his rook. This rook on h1 is a dead rook. And I still believe that Black is playing for win. He is not interesting even for draw. And Okay, move h3 is, um, is doing sense because White believed that has time to play with his rook and maybe at the end White has hope to win this game but no mercy, no way. So young player, 13 years old Bobby Fischer, he took on f2, he took on e1, check, and maybe here still it's not too bad a game for white, but it's a bad game. You know, two bishops, active games, two, you know, too many weaknesses in white's territory and a really strong 13 years old Bobby Fischer. B5, okay. Now check. And, and the, this uh, game is going to be short because it's ch ch beautiful checkmate. Check, another check, one more time check, check by the knight, and check, and checkmate. And if you believe that this game is amazing, maybe you will agree with me that this game should be the game of the last century. So a really wonderful game of 14 years old Bobby Fischer, amazing game. It's really hard to believe that so young guy should play so amazing chess. And we are at the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you saw a really amazing chess game. And maybe this chess game will give you energy to play chess, to have fantasy and to win a lot of chess games as Bobby Fischer did in uh, this game. So that's everything for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So thank you very much for follows and likes. And I believe I will see you next time in our another maybe interesting chess video. So thank you. I wish you a good day and I hope I will see you soon.